This is a small presentation on how JET works and how I've used it to create a small test suite to test Memcached with EP Engine. JET stands for Java Engine for Testing and was designed by the Database Technology Group in Sun Microsystems to test HADB. HADB is a clustered database very similar to MySQL cluster. Since HADB runs on multiple platforms, the test tool had to be cross-platform. As the name implies, JET is implemented in Java. It comes with a toolbox of classes you may use, and you may write your own plugins to extend its features. There are three key elements in JET. That's JAG, JETBATCH, and JET. All machines that is to be used by JET needs to have JAG running. JAG offers services such as file upload and download, start and stop processes, collect files, perform basic core file analysis such as collecting stack traces, etc. JET batch is the component we're invoking on our development machines to start a batch of tests. It reads the test specifications and connects to the JAG and uploads the binaries to be tested and collects the test results. JET is running on the client machines and is responsible for running a single test. Since JET itself is implemented in Java, you would normally implement the tests in Java as well, but you can also invoke different binaries or use different languages. So let's walk through an example. It all starts with JetBatch connecting to the JAG on the client machine and the server machine and upload the software to be tested there. It then instructs JAG on the client machine to start a JET and JET will start running the test. JET will utilize JAG on the client and server machines to start processes and to needed to run the test. When the test execution is done, JetBatch will collect the results from all of the JAGs. I've created a prototype of a test for Membase with a number of limitations. First, I'm only using Memcache and EPEngine, but it should be fairly easy to extend when NS Server offers a more flexible way to specify the command line options and the port numbers to use. Second, I'm using a dummy Memcache driver to generate the load. The reason for doing so is that I need a vBucket aware Memcache client. Before you can start running the test, you need to install Apache Maven and a JDK. You need to follow the description on the wiki page on how to install a JET, and you need to download and install my super scaled down vBucket aware implementation of a memcached client. When you get the dependencies installed, building the test suite should be fairly easy. With the test suite installed, you need to edit some config files before you can start the test. I've chosen to store all of the configurations in separate directories, making it easier for developers to figure out which parameter to set. JET is designed to allow multiple tests to be run at the same machines at the same time. In order to avoid all of these servers to use the same port numbers and uh, affect each other, you need to specify your port number in the uh, config file for yourself. The config batches directory should contain all of the different test batches we got. Right now there's only a single test but hopefully we can extend this to get a 95% of automatic test coverage of our system. In the platform directory you would create the file where you specify the servers to use and the locations of the binaries to test. The common.properties file would contain settings that is used by all properties. When you got all of the configuration files ready, you can start a test by running the run sh script. If you're going to test on the same architecture as you're running on, you don't need to specify the names of the config files. Otherwise, you need to list all of the property files you're going to use for the test. So let's look under the cover and talk about how everything fits together. And everything starts with a test manifest. The test manifest is an XML document and I've only created one. You may look at the DTG on the internet to figure out how the document is structured, but let's talk about some of the tags in there and what they're used for. The test setup tag enclose a number of tests. Its purpose is to prepare the system for a number of tests. And to do so, you might want to spin up new servers, you might want to format disk drives, simulate the network split, or do all kinds of funky things. The method setup is called by the framework 
before the enclosing te uh, test cases is executed and the teardown method is called when all of the test cases is performed. And a test case is nothing more than an invocation of a single method in a class. It may do whatever you want it to do by using Jack to start different binaries or you can implement everything in Java. The test is considered as a success unless it throws an exception. You may use a load client to generate load while a jet is running the enclosed test cases. To do so, you just specify the scheduler, the transactions you want to run, and the think time between each invocation of the transaction, etc. If you just want to use a performance uh, test, you should just insert a single test case that does sleeping. If you would like to uh, override some of the properties and parts of the test, you might, for instance, want to use more clients to simulate a load. You can use the binding objects to override the keys for uh, parts in parts of the test specification. So let's talk about the Java classes that is used to implement this. Memcache server setup is the first class referenced in the text manifest. Its purpose is to spin up the memcache servers on all of the server nodes, and to do so, it utilizes the memcache controller client. When all of the clients are, or all of the memcached servers is running, it will activate all of the vBuckets on the servers. The JET client utilizes the memcached controller client to invoke methods specified in the memcached controller mbin. The memcached controller is instantiated on the server machines, and its purpose is to start and stop and monitor the memcached and EP engine. So, how do we create workload? on the system. The easiest solution would be to use one of the existing schedulers to drive load on the systems. They operate on transaction objects and will automatically help you create metrics for your system. In the example, I am using the parallel scheduler that runs multiple threads in parallel running on different transaction objects. I've implemented four different transaction objects to simulate different kinds of load. There is a number of predefined schedulers in JET, but you may always create your own custom one by extending the transaction scheduler and implement do run if you want special behavior. All of the schedulers will operate on transaction objects, and this is where you can simulate your typical load. Simply extend the transaction class and implement do transaction to do whatever you want. I've implemented the PHP transaction that tries to simulate a page request from a PHP application. The PHP application don't use persistent memcache connections, so in my do transaction I'm connecting to memcache, running a number of get and set operations before I disconnect. To create a test, simply extend test case class and create a method. From this method you may use JAG to start binaries on various nodes or you may implement the test in Java if you like. As long as you don't throw any exceptions, your test case will succeed. Please let me know if you have any questions. Happy hacking!